everybody. My name's Kirk. Welcome to Connect. I'm super excited that you're here. At Connect HQ today, they're finding out that when you lie, it's really hard to earn the trust of others again. Our point reminds us that. I'm gonna say it. I need you to repeat it after me. Are you ready? Here we go. Tell the truth. Be honest in all you say and do. Fantastic job. All right, now we're going into worship, one of my favorite things that we get to do. So let's go to Connect HQ right now to learn more. This is my favorite part of Connect, connecting to God through music. Worshiping God is making a big deal out of who He is and all He's done. And I love to connect to God through music. And you know, just dancing around in this body God's given me like this especially here at church with all of my friends. So come on, sing, dance, worship, get up on your feet and let's connect to God together.
With every step I take I'm becoming the person you call me to be A child of God Yeah, it's called a terrarium. No, a terrarium is for plants. This is for fish. But there's no fish in it. It's dry. Because there's no water in it. A fish would die in there. Then it's called a terrarium. Why would I want a terrarium? Why would you want a waterless fishbowl? Because that's what the guy was selling! Excuse me, <gasps> I hate to interrupt. Disgrace local businessman Chuck Forte! I have a problem and I need your help. Ooh, what a lovely terrarium. It's a waterless fishbowl. We are Connect HQ. Every day we help the people of the world live God's way. We look for the links, make the connection, and you never know what might happen. Dot, and this is what happens when you lie. I sincerely apologize. I mean, what can I say? I messed up big time. You said it. The past few months, I've been trying to prove to the good people of this town that I'm sorry for what I did and working up the courage to come into Connect HQ. That's admirable. What? We can't trust anything he says. The last time he was here, he stole Luke's piggy bank and framed me for it. He's a liar. Dot. No, it's okay. I'm used to it. That's actually why I'm here. I can't seem to get a second chance. I need help repairing my reputation so I can get back to running my pet store. It would take a miracle. Agreed. Chuck, could you just give us a few minutes? Sure. Ah, 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 ah. You stay right here where we can see you at all times. I'll just give you some space. Dot, our job is to help anyone that comes in looking for help. I'm all for helping anyone, but can't you see why I would have a hard time ever trusting this guy? I've never known him to be honest. But we could help him. We could show Chuck how to be truthful in everything that he says and does. Okay, I'll give it a shot, but I'm keeping a close eye on him. Vanessa, do you watch Sleeping Bag Ninjas? I have seen a few episodes. Good. What's it about? Okay, so these kids find ancient sleeping bags and they turn into ninja warriors when they zip themselves up inside. Great. It's Mike's favorite new show. I promised him that I'd start watching it, but I kind of forgot. So I'm just going to pretend that I've seen it. Mm, that's lying. No, sorry, you misunderstood me. I'm going to pretend that I've watched it. But you haven't watched it. No. And you're going to say you have. Until I've watched it. Right. Yeah, that's lying. No, it's just bending the truth until I can make it the truth. So I don't hurt his feelings. Rodney... Lying doesn't just hurt Mike, it hurts you and your character. Always tell the truth, 
Be honest in all you say and do. Well, that's good advice. Tell the truth. Be honest in all you say and do. And I'm sure Michael will understand that you haven't seen his show. I hope so. Chuck, my partner and I are going to ask you some questions and we need some answers. What kind of honest things have you done lately? Yesterday, a lady left her purse. And instead of keeping it like I wanted to, I caught up with her and gave it back. Nice work. C. Dot. He's trying. Small potatoes. What else? I, yeah. Uh, I used to sell gerbils as exotic long-tailed hamsters. People didn't know the difference. Um, I don't do that anymore. Gerbils are sold as gerbils. Oh, I love gerbils. Gerbils aren't people. What honest things have you done for people? Whenever people ask me if I'm the same Chuck Forte that stole all that stuff from around town, I'm always honest. I never lie and tell them I'm someone else. That's got to be tough. But it's pretty hard to hide the fact that you are Chuck Forte. Yeah. If I can't fix my name around town, then plan B is to start wearing a fake mustache. Instead of an honest mustache? You're right. I'll grow a real one. Dot, I think if people around town knew that you believed that Chuck was honest, they could forgive him too. You could help keep me accountable. And Dot, if you vouched for me, that would be huge for my reputation and for the pet shop. So, what do you think, Dot? Do you believe him? I don't think I can trust his answers. You want answers? I think I'm entitled to them. You want answers? I want you to tell the truth. I can handle the truth. Dot, we live in a town that needs pets. And those pets need to be cared for by men with leashes. Who's going to do it? You? You, Alyssa? I have more responsibility than you can even fathom. You weep for Luke's piggy bank. You have the luxury. You have the luxury of not knowing what I know. That my reputation dying was, was sad and ruined my life. And that my past lying was gross and sinful. But you want me in that pet shop. You need me in that pet shop. We use words like honor, code, loyalty. Those are great words. I have all the time in the world and the motivation to explain to you a girl who rises and sleeps under the very blanket of honesty that I want. So instead of saying I'm sorry, I want to say thank you for showing me a good example. Either way, I hope you believe me. You're entitled to honesty. Wow. Hey! Did you watch it? I was really busy this weekend. I had to help my mom reorganize her kitchen. So many dish towels. Yeah, but did you watch it? You promised me, and I really want to talk to somebody about sleeping bag ninjas. Yes, I did. And didn't you love it? Oh, I loved it every minute. Oh, when they're fighting in their sleeping bags, they transform in their sleeping bags. Did you actually watch it or? I, I did, I did, I did. And you know what the craziest part about this new season is? <laughs> when they started the band? When the ninjas started the band. <laughs> That's my favorite part too. So who was your favorite new character? Ooh, so hard to choose. There's so many people to choose did from. Did you actually watch it or I did. you just? I did, I did. I, I, my favorite character was the girl with the ear. Eliza! Oh, she's my favorite too! I love how she does the controlling of the sea turtles. I was just about to say, Eliza with the sea turtles. <laughs> Such a I'm good show. I'm so glad that you actually watched it. <laughs> Maybe you can help me, Vanessa. Didn't you guys make a skit about how much God hates liars? I think I know the one you're talking about, but you've got it wrong. God loves everyone. He hates lying. Whatever it is, I need to see it. 
I'm confused about what I should do right now since Chuck Forte returned asking for us to fix his reputation. Disgraced local businessman Chuck Forte? That's the one. I'm surprised he came back here. Let me see if I can find that video. I'm having a hard time moving past the hurt that was caused when he lied to me. Okay, I found the skit. Let's see if it helps. This is the story about the God who loves us in the Bible. We find truth and purpose to love God and love others. We're searching God's word for things to discover. The early church shared everything. They were a brand new community of people who found each other because they believed and followed what Jesus taught when he was on the earth. The way they shared what they had made them stand out. They shared their food. They shared their time. There was even one guy who sold some of his land and gave every cent of the money he earned to the church. In the church, there were two people, a husband and a wife, Ananias and Sapphira. They saw this guy sell his land and said, we should do that too. Let's call this Ananias. Yeah. And Sapphira. Hmm. Hey, let's do like that other guy and sell some of our land. But are we really gonna give all of the money to the church? Everybody shares everything. They don't need all of it. Hmm, you're right. Let's just give them some of the money and we'll keep the rest for ourselves. Ananias brought some of the money to the church, but he lied and said it was all of the money. Peter could tell he was lying. <gasps> Peter said, why are you lying to the Holy Spirit, Ananias? Has Satan filled your heart? You didn't have to sell your land and you didn't have to give the money to the church and you certainly didn't have to lie and say you gave all of it, but you did. Not only have you lied to the church, but you've lied to God. Upon hearing this, Ananias fell down and died. Whoa, whoa, wait, wait, what? That's how the story goes, he died. Does that mean if I tell a lie, I'm gonna die too? Just like that? In the Bible story, Ananias died. In our story, lying might not kill our bodies, but it does weaken our reputation and it kills trust. When the people in the early church heard what happened to Ananias, they knew that lying was something God took seriously. Three hours later, Sapphira came in, but she didn't know what had happened to her husband. Peter gave her a chance to tell the truth. He said, Did you sell the land for the price your husband said? Yep, that's how much we sold it for. Why would you and your husband plan to lie against the Holy Spirit? We just buried him for the same thing. Then she died too, and they buried her with her husband. Everyone in the church heard this story, and they had a healthy respect for God. They knew that not only was God serious about lying, but also building trust. God doesn't hate liars. He loves the truth, and He loves when people build community. Lying might not kill our bodies, but it does tear down trust. Lies tear down the trust our relationships need to survive. Yep, lying is dangerous. Chuck lost my respect when he lied to me. It's hard for me to trust him again. Well, God knows Chuck's heart. And I might not know the guy, but it does seem like he's trying. It can't have been easy to come back here to Connect HQ and ask for your help. He took a really big step just by being here and apologizing to your face. So he's trying to rebuild his trust in the community. Yep, and God loves that kind of thing. He loves giving second chances. Maybe I should too. Did you notice in season five, episode four, they said they never met the High King, but actually they met him in season my, two. My, my, I have to come clean. I haven't watched Sleeping Bag Ninjas. I didn't follow through on my promise to you. 
And you lied to me. I did. I didn't want to hurt your feelings, though, but I have to stop this lie right here before it keeps growing. Yeah, because I was about to get into some heavy conspiracies about the lost campground. Vanessa gave me some good advice. Tell the truth. Be honest in all you say and do. That's a good point. And it doesn't feel good to be lied to, but I wouldn't have cared. I just wanted to share this experience with you. And now I spoiled all the good parts. And that actually is the part that hurts my feelings. I'm sorry, Mike. Well, I'm glad you were honest with me. And no lie, I really am excited about seeing this show. <laughs> It sounds awesome. It is. At one point, they fight a 4,000-pound frog, the two-ton toad. Okay, okay, it's okay. Like no more spoilers. No more spoilers. Chuck, I'm sorry I wasn't giving you a second chance. And I can see that you're taking a big step forward to be trustworthy. I'll take my own step forward, too. I forgive you, and I believe you. Thanks, Dot. Every day, I ask God to help me stick to the truth. I never did that before. It's new to me. Actually, there's a verse that you can memorize that might help. It's from the book of Proverbs, chapter 12, verse 22. Say it like this. Proverbs 12, 22. Proverbs 12, 22. The Lord detests lying lips. The Lord detests lying lips. But he delights in those who tell the truth. But he delights in those who tell the truth. God loves the truth. And if you need help telling the truth, you can always ask him for help. You can count on us to spread the word around town that you're an honest man. I would sure appreciate the help. Oh, and Dot, when you finally get water in that fishbowl, come see me at the pet store. We'll pick out a perfect goldfish. Actually, I was wondering, do you have any piranhas? To be honest, no. But we'll see what we can find. <sighs> My name is Dot, and I wanted to share this verse with you. It's in the book of Proverbs. Say with me like this. Proverbs 12, 22. The Lord detests lying lips, but he delights in those who tell the truth. God hates lies, but he loves the truth. He can help you be honest. When we choose to be dishonest like Ananias and Sapphira, our character and our reputation die. Lying to our community and lying to God is something that He takes seriously. Instead of finding ways to lie about our actions, we should think about ways to build trust with the people around us so we don't lose their respect or our reputation. If you are known as someone who lies a lot, people won't trust you. But if you're in the middle of several little lies or one big one, you don't have to keep that lie going. You can stop, tell the truth, and keep your promises. That's better than telling a lie that grows and grows. God looks at the heart. He loves you and will help you. He knows if you're honest on the inside, even when no one else can tell. Take big steps to tell the truth. Be honest in all you say and do. Lying hurts you and others. Build trust instead. Ask your friends to help you be honest. And remember, Connect HQ is here to help you. Do you think a barracuda could fit in here? I wonder how big catfish get. This big? This big? Maybe I should just get a turtle and call it a day. Being honest isn't just something where we can try harder. We need God's help every day to stick to the truth. We can learn to be honest by following Jesus' example. If you've never made the decision to follow Jesus with your whole life, you can do that right now. Just remember the ABCs. A. Admit. Admit that you've done wrong and ask God to forgive you for disobeying Him. B. Believe. Believe God sent Jesus to take the punishment for your sin. Trust that you are forgiven because Jesus made you right with God. C. Choose. Choose to spend your whole life depending on God's power to help you say no to sin. As you live and love like Jesus, tell others God is your leader and number one friend. Did you make that choice today? If so, Talk to your Connect small group leader before you leave. That is the most important decision that you can make. If you want to know more about that, I want you to talk to a trusted adult before we finish today. All right, we have a verse that we need to learn. I'm going to say it. You guys do it with me. Are you ready? Here we go. 
Proverbs 12, 22. The Lord detests lying lips, but he delights in those who tell the truth. Great job. All right, we're gonna play a little game and it's called Two Truths and a Lie. You're going to tell two truths about yourself and one lie. Then your family has to guess which one is the lie. So pause the video right now and play the game. That was a pretty fun game. Nobody trusts anyone in that game because of the lies. In the game, it's really funny to lie, but when you lie in real life, it hurts others. The real trust people have in you dies because they don't know if you're lying or not. But God loves you and he'll help you be honest when you ask him. Now we have some fantastic questions for you and your family to answer. Thank you so much for joining me in Connect and I will see you later.